Hello and thank you very much for clicking onto this video. So it is a tiny, tiny, tiny little haul. Two Christian Dior items that were absolute bargains and I had to pick them up. And I'm either, as usual, I'm either going to keep them or pass them on. But they were such good bargains, I had to get them. So the first one, still in the, the mailer. And it's a vintage Christian Dior coin purse or you can use it as a handbag charm as well because there's the little lobster claw clasp it's really very 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 good condition the there's no markings at all really on the hardware uh, it is a sort of gunmetal colored which is dark which helps it is genuine leather I mean I can even still smell the leather it's absolutely gorgeous it's lovely and soft it's like a beigey ivory colour and I thought there would be more markings on this considering the colour but there's no transfer so whoever owned this really looked after it very well or hardly used it. It has this lovely heart and a lovely sort of lace detail around it which makes it really really girly because some of their coin purses can be sort of really bland and quite masculine so this is really something different. And has the kiss lock closure there, which is lovely as well. Inside is actually quite roomy. So that's the inside there. And it has the classic sort of monogram, Christian Dior monogram there. It's quite clean inside, apart from, I think, around the edges here, which is a little bit darker. I'm hoping a little bit of fabric cleaner will sort of clean some of that off. And also you have a little loose thread here, a little bit of, um, there's a glue called Termender. I think it's very good. So I'm going to try and purchase that and um, maybe tidy that up a bit. But I think considering everything, this is really good and I'll make a really, really good present. There is a label on it as well. So it just says Christian Dior and it has a serial code on it as well. So for £10, really couldn't pass that up, really excellent price and that was at auction and again I've said it in other videos, really good time to look out for bargains is really early in the morning or late at night and that's when you can pick up stuff like this up. The next up is a larger Christian Dior and it's a crossbody bag. Now the person I bought this from was using it as a clutch and lost the crossbody strap but I mean you can always purchase that separately. It is a vintage Christian Dior. Um, now she was passed this down, wasn't sure of the age or authenticity. I have had it for a couple of weeks now and I am struggling as well to try and authenticate it. It's very hard with Christian Dior. A lot of the pieces don't have serial codes because I think they were quite late putting serial codes on their bags. This ha is this is a crossbody bag. It's quite big actually. Doesn't look it there because it's be, it hasn't been really stored very well. So it's pretty flat and rigid, but it does have the uh, canage print on it there. The whole way around the bag. And the quality of the pattern is absolutely amazing. The whole bag is in very, very good quality, apart from maybe the hardware. The hardware obviously has very um, good signs of wear. It's all faded. And there's no little details on the little buttons there and they have faded as well and the actual main badge there has faded although you can't really see it there I think it was originally gold and now it's a silver color but uh, there's hardly any loose threads on the main outside body of the bag and the edges are all in excellent condition as well there's nowhere on the edges. Now is this leather is it not? Honestly I'm not even sure it feels very very plasticky 
And one other theory is that this could be a bag as part of their promotion. I remember seeing some vintage bags, Christian Dior bags, as being sold as perfume bags. So whether they were gifts with purchase or part of others promotion, I am not sure. Um, they might be lesser quality, uh, but it's hard to tell. And I think it's a way this bag was stored too. Um, I mean, it's definitely on. It was unconditioned. It feels very stiff and rigid, and I think that's why too. So I have been storing it with plenty of scarves and all to try and loosen it up a bit. It definitely doesn't smell like plastic and I think that's maybe too because the storage it smells very very vintage the inside is the inside actually feels like proper leather and the inside here in the compartments feels like a, a type of coated leather that I've seen in other vintage Dior bags so that leans towards the authenticity as well so if I can just show you, I mean, this bag is massive. There is three separate compartments here. It is totally massive. So it's a very versatile bag. And I think it's could maybe well be part of a travel line because it is so huge. But at the same time, being very compact and easy to carry. Now, on the inside, there are no marks that lean towards the authenticity other than the little button at the back. So, the little button at the back says, Mate in Italy, and then you have three little circles. Now, I have definitely seen that mark somewhere before, but it's going to take me a bit of research to try and find that out. I might even have to send pictures away to an authenticator. Or maybe go on purse forum and pop these pictures in and see if anybody else knows about vintage Christian Dior. There is a little bit, there's a little zipper there, uh, but there is no markings on the zipper. And it definitely looks like a vintage zipper as well. But the inside of the bag is very, very clean. There's no rips or turds. And it's just that vintage uh, smell. So if you're watching this and you know about Christian vintage Christian Dior, please feel free to leave in the comments your thoughts on this bag. It will definitely be very helpful. But I absolutely love it. I'm a big fan of the canage print. And I definitely think this is really, really something different. And I would... I love crossbody bags and this would make a really really good bag for traveling and I did pick up a little strap there and I think it's a plain leather strap and I think I can actually put putting some pearls or something just to make it a little bit different and add to the vintage feel so that is it. If you've made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave in the comment section below. And yep, I hope you have a lovely day or a lovely evening wherever you are. Thank you. Bye-bye.